How to visualize dividing a mixed number by a fraction? Example 1. 2 and 4 fifths divided by 2 fifths. This expression answers the question, how many 2 fifths are there in 2 and 4 fifths? In our illustration, the last whole is divided into 5 equal parts. Let us also divide the first two holes into five equal parts. Each equal part is equivalent to one-fifth. Therefore, two-fifths consist of two equal parts. So how many two-fifths are there in two and four-fifths? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are 7 2 fifths in 2 and 4 fifths. So 2 and 4 fifths divided by 2 fifths is equivalent to 7. Example 2. 1 and 2 thirds divided by 5 6. This expression answers the question, how many 5 6 are there in 1 and 2 thirds? Our last hole is divided into three equal parts, so let us also divide the first hole into three equal parts. Then let's divide the hole into six equal parts because we're going to group them by five six. So the first hole is divided into six equal parts and so with the second. Now let's group them by five six. So each equal part is 1 6, so 5 6 consists of 5 equal parts. So 1 5 6, another group of 5 6. So how many 5 6 are there in 1 and 2 thirds? There are 2 5 6. Example 3. 3 and 1 half divided by 2 thirds. This expression answers the question, how many two-thirds are there in three and a half? Since the last hole is divided into two equal parts, let us also divide the first three holes into two equal parts. And because the denominator of our divisor is three in two-thirds, let us divide each hole into three equal parts horizontally. And let us identify each group of two-thirds in each hole. Take note that a group of two-thirds consists of four equal parts. So four equal parts is equivalent to two-thirds. So let's count how many groups of two-thirds are there in three and a half. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And since we have a remaining one shaded part, and since a group of two thirds consists of four equal parts, then the remaining is equivalent to one out of four or one fourth. So three and a half divided by two thirds is equivalent to five groups of two-thirds plus the remaining one-fourth. Thank you so much guys for watching my video and I hope that this video helps you in understanding your lesson on dividing fractions. I hope you like it and subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. Again, whatever problems we have, whether in math or in life, there is always one or more solutions that the Lord will provide. This topic on dividing mixed numbers by fractions can be associated with equal sharing of food and contributions. In the family, as much as possible, we share food equally. But oftentimes, parents sacrificially but willingly give up their share for their children to feel how much they care. This is Teacher Zilla reaching out to you from Cagayan de Oro, your Pinay math teacher.